Hello again everyone. It's time for the February channel and weight loss update. Motorhome wise, I'm still waiting for some parts to finish off those repairs to the brakes following the MOT advisories. I've noticed uh, a little bit of a weird thing. I'm ordering them from websites with a .co.uk address, but the parts are coming from Germany. I don't know if that's uh, a new thing, but it's certainly something I've noticed recently. It doesn't really matter, but they do take a little while to arrive. So hopefully we'll be able to get that work on the motorhome completed shortly, ready for camping to start again in April. On the airbrushing front, uh, we had a bit of a disappointing video with that B picture that uh, wasn't that great anyway, I felt, and uh, then the clear coat uh, really uh, put an end to things. Uh, but we've had a much better result on uh, Mia's Metal Flake room sign. And, uh, that's gone up today actually, and uh, yeah, she seems very pleased with that. Now you may have noticed we haven't really put out so many videos in February and that's because uh, two weekends of the month were spent uh, on a little project, a DIY project in the house to insulate the conservatory roof. Now, I didn't video that because it's a bit outside the normal scope of the channel but uh, I have prepared this short informative presentation for you. We started by removing the central boss cover from the underside of the conservatory roof. Then we fixed treated softwood bands to the underside of the glazing bars with self-drilling screws. Then multi-foil insulation was fitted to the battens using a staple gun. The joints in the insulation were sealed with a foil tape. A second layer of battens were then added over the top of the first battens, sandwiching the multi-foil insulation between them. I then used PVC soffit board to clad over the top of those battens. This is much lighter than plasterboard, more moisture resistant and won't ever need repainting. Jointing strips and edging strips were used at the corners. The edges where the underside of the cladding met the structure of the conservatory were then sealed with a sanitary sealant and cover plates were made up for where the bracing rods passed through the cladding. Finally, we installed some new lighting to finish it off. Anyhow, that's quite enough of that. Here is the part you've all been waiting for, the charts. First up, the heart rate zones. There are a couple of days where we've got quite a bit in the cardio zone, but most remains in the fat burn zone. And uh, we haven't hit the peak zone very often, I'm afraid. Next up is the daily step count. We haven't met the 12,000 step target that we set uh, once we uh, pass the 11,000 every day kind of milestone, but uh, been rather busy at work and not had time for some lunchtime walks that were keeping the count up so I'm gonna try and reinstate them in March. Sleep of course as ever is <laughs> below target for most of the month. There are a couple of uh, weekend days where we, we met the full eight hours but uh, yeah we're usually hovering slightly under that somewhat. And of course, finally, weight loss. And you can see we've achieved some sort of equilibrium. It's uh, very flat the, uh, at the end of this graph, uh, neither losing weight nor gaining weight. So I guess that's good in one sense, but uh, it would be nice to see it start heading downwards again. It's the walk a thousand kilometers challenge. And I like the way of recording the mileage on this. 
you can see from the orange line we're about on track as to where we should be we've crossed slightly below the uh, the blue line for the, uh, the sort of ideal path but we're not far below it and we should quickly pick that back up again well that's all for now if you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new Thank you.